Hey there YouTube, this is uh, GunDude73 bringing you another nice video here. And uh, as you can see by the box, we got ourselves another Spyderco. And I really like Spyderco. You know, I'm not, I'm not as crazy as some people out there like uh, Zippo this knife that. He has like 17 Spydercos, I only have three. But uh, this Spyderco, as you can see, is an older version, has the older box. It is, in fact, a spider code T-Mag. It is that one that uses the magnets. Yeah, that is it. So here's the knife. It has carbon fiber scales, as you can see. I think they look nice, you know. To me, like uh, some people I was talking to, Zippo this knife, that as a matter of fact, I asked him about the carbon fiber because he has one of these, and he was saying that he didn't think it was very brilliant as compared to his Native 4 CF and his Sage 1 CF. Now I can't speak for the Native because I've never seen it in person, but I have seen the Sage. And I will say that it is more brilliant than this, but this is still pretty nice. You know, you can still see the weaves and everything. So, on to the knife. Like I said, carbon fiber handles. It has a CPMS 30V blade. Um, has the wire pocket clip. It's tip up only, but both sides. So this is ambidextrous. Uh, the blade has a hollow grind on it. You can see that nice hollow grind on there. Um, it has the the worker type blade, which was the first type of the first Spyderco model was the worker, and it had a blade shape very analogous to this. You know, it has a huge like hump here for the hole and then it comes down to the tip. I like the shape, you know, I've been, I got it a couple days ago or yesterday and I was just, you know, it was in my hand practically, you know, as long as it could be. And also, I know, Zippo this knife that, he asked me a question, he said, how's the magnet on yours? Now, from all the videos I saw, uh, people were really bad on the magnet. This magnet is, you know, it takes a bit of force to actually knock it down, but it also has like a will to live, so to speak, like it wants to snap back. I can pull it down a little bit and then it gets sucked back into the open position. So, yeah, that's nice. And, uh, it has some jimping on the spine there, as you can see. And it has some jimping on the choil. The liners in this are titanium, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. There's the magnet. It says, Made in Golden, Colorado, USA, Rare Earth. Rare Earth because of the magnets. Obviously. Now, most people will notice that most spider coats, like this paramilitary, you got focus. It just says Golden Colorado USA Earth. This one, the T Max is Rare Earth. So, that's another little quirk. It's made by Ralph Turnbull. And uh, I'm not sure if he did any other Spider Co's, but uh, he did this one, obviously. Now, it, the knife originally came with an instruction sheet. Now, I got this. Uh, technically used in the sense that I'm not the first owner, I'm the second, but the guy who had it before me uh, carried it one day and that was it. And all he did with it was cut apart the the, the warning card to see how sharp the knife was. Uh, so I don't have the card, but you know, there's so many like YouTube, you could see the picture of the card and it says not, it says to hold it your index finger in the choil like this so you don't cut yourself and keep it away from electronics such things like that and uh... T-Mags aren't very expensive currently but when they came out they were very expensive the MSRP was about 320 319 something really high up and they retailed for about 250 or 200 somewhere in that range and uh... I got this for 40 bucks yeah, lucky me. So, I'll just I'm gonna quickly show you how it buries in the pocket here. 
see if I can show this. It's a bit tough to get on the pocket, but I like it that way. So that is how it looks in the pocket. Now, uh, I guess I can compare that to something lower. Here's the oopsies, Spyderco paramilitary with a low rider clip on it. You can see the difference. I do like the wire clip though, I'm a fan. It's my first knife with the wire clip. It looks very simple. When it's in the pocket, you don't see very much. Which is what I like, you know, discreet carrier. So one thing I kind of like with this knife is you can spider drop it, right? You can spider drop it, zoom out. You can spider drop it, use it, right? And then you just push down in the blade and it kind of just goes back into the handle, lickety split. Let's show that again. You open it up, and then you just push down on the blade. So, the fact that it has a lock, not a lock I should say, it's okay, it's not irking me or anything. It's a nice knife. If you can find one, I highly recommend getting it. Don't pay more than 80 bucks. I wouldn't pay more than that. Okay, that's Spyderco T Mag, and this is Gun Dude 73. Signing off, and have a good weekend.